that laptop. We are going to get the trailer. You want to say hi to the Hi. There you go, love. Okay. Everything is ready to go. I ain't gonna leave her in the car for too long. It's hot out here. Phone, wallet, keys. Got my phone, wallet, keys. All right. And babies. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Going to go to U-Haul now, pick up the trailer, got the wires installed, got the ball installed. Um, had to get a, a flimsy pin from, from Walmart, but it does have a lock on it, so that's good, uh, I guess. I don't think it'll break. I didn't have time to investigate these reviews on this one before before getting it. But regardless, the trailer is insured, the bike is insured, so if anything goes wrong, I'd rather to damage the stuff than our lives. What happens if the trailer well, if the pin goes breaks, off the road and then we go off the road? Well, if the pin breaks... I've done that before. With a trailer? No, without the trailer. If the without pin... Without the added... We're talking about the pin breaking though, so why are we talking about the trailer going off the road? If the car is going one trajectory, and then if the, the pin trailer, breaks, then the trailer is gone. That has nothing to do with us. But what happens if it gets stuck and then it pulls the car? That's a lot of. Why would the why if, would you, if the why? pin breaks, then how would it get stuck? It literally unstuck. If the what pin, happens if the cords for the lights? Oh, they the, definitely they definitely break away. That's like a breakaway lanyard. All these worst case scenarios going through my mind now. <laughs> oh well, see, your your worst case is just not a, it's not valid. It just doesn't work. It's not, it's not an actual worst case because it can't happen. If the pin breaks, then the trail is gone regardless. <laughs> you just gonna see the motorcycle rolling on down the hill. I gotta make sure I record that though. <laughs> Good content. <laughs> that's not how this works. Your channel would live and die by the time. What's up, folks? It's AJ. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started with the video, do me a huge favor and swerve all over that subscribe button, the like button or dislike button, depending on how you feel about me, and make sure you hit the bell to get notified about the videos that I post every single week. So now, back into... No, I actually do that. No, for real. Do that before we start the video. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and swear it back into the video. Enjoy. And we have arrived. Let's head on up in here. What's your name? Aaron McMullen. Yeah, he said he was going to switch it. He wanted me to pull up um, behind there. Yeah, but he's going to switch it to yeah. this one. Okay. At least that's what he said. I don't know if you want to check with him or not. You're all good, sir. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Have a good one. We got a trailer. We do. We long. We are unstoppable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell me that. Even silently. The trailer is all hooked up. Uh, worst case scenario. There is no worst case scenario. We make them. We do this. All right. <laughs> I've never driven with a trailer before. I'm just going to be real. It's going to be interesting. It oh. does look fairly stable, though. Well, so far, it doesn't feel any different. Yeah, it does. I don't feel any different. I feel like something's being dragged. It doesn't feel like an extension of the car necessarily. It just feels like we have a flag, a heavy flag on us. So far, so good. So far, so good. And that was a very sharp turn. Yeah, I was expecting it to swing out more. Or like accidentally bump the bumper. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Should we stock up on her? Bumper guards. The next test is putting the putting the motorcycle on there. That's the weirdness. It feels very jolty. Yeah, right. Almost like the brake is on. All right. The, the next. Trailer doesn't have brakes, does it? No. Anyway, the next test is putting it putting the motorcycle on and uh, and getting on up the highway. So uh, we'll I'll 
catch you guys up when I when I do that. Well, we're talking about ridiculousness of uh, of things. Uh, we are pulling a trailer with a pulling a motorcycle trailer with a, um, a Hyundai Elantra. In Hyundai Sonata, I'm sorry, the Elantra is over there. Um, so yeah, it actually didn't ride that bad. Wasn't that terrible? Um, I thought that it would, it, in my opinion, it, it actually rode a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, the only thing that I, that we came across is the fact that the, the car is sitting so low and these chains, the, the uh, towing chains are now dragging the ground. So we had to zip tie them up or do something of, the, of that nature to make sure that they don't drag on the ground because that definitely sounds terrible from the inside. Um, made me think that something was wrong. Yeah, but anyway. Next thing we do is load the bike up on it and we are good. Let's get her loaded up. The test of all tests. You ready for this one? Not a little bit, but we on here. All right, we straight. So this ain't one of those things that hold the wheel too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the kickstand for now. But they always said, don't ride with your kickstand down if you wanna, or don't uh, don't don't tow your motorcycle with your kickstand down. So uh, he telling you the only thing I hate about this bike is the kickstand. Gotta get it out with my damn hands. That's some good. All right. So we got her all tied down. I'm gonna pretend like I ain't hear that. But she ain't going nowhere. That's what all Kelly said. Wish us luck, folks. It is gonna be a very long, a long and tedious ride and probably gonna be really miserable. And I say that because it's gonna be real slow. Alyssa doesn't agree with me, but. I did see the speed limit. See what I mean? Good thing I'm not driving. <sighs> so we're gonna, we're, we're capped out at about 55 miles per hour the entire way up. You know what, let's go ahead and get rolling. Let's check everything, make sure everything's good. Overall though, um, people make people make loading the motorcycle a lot harder than it needs to be, in my opinion. I didn't have that many problems with it. You're also more That's not nice. So far so good, folks. It's still standing. Yeah, yeah, it's still standing. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like it that. It doesn't mesh with Ella it, and Sonia. It doesn't. It reminds me of when we had the um, when we had the 400 and when we called it Cowie. We yeah. did. I called it Cowie because of Kawasaki. Well, says it on that too. That's a Yamaha. Oh. <laughs> I hope my Yamaha. I hope my Yamaha doesn't say Kawasaki on the front. Well, you just discovered a part that said. Uh, no, Mitsubishi. Oh. The electrical part. It's the uh, the uh, ECU has uh, it was made by Mitsubishi apparently. Uh oh, I forgot. <laughs> if I if we can survive that, I think we good. We are Gucci. Ew, I hate that word. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go stop and get something to eat. We are hella late to get on the road. We was we were talking about getting on the road at like one o'clock. Um, we got to decide what we're going to eat. She doesn't know yet. And I have no idea because I'm trying to eat healthy and all that uh, all that jazz. See that level of edge that early. I don't feel hey, like- if you're a supervisor, you hear this, we want to come in and do some training. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I feel y'all, man. Because you got to feel it. You got to deal with these people every day at work, man. Look, man, go ahead. You got to look, you, it was the rules, ma'am. You was just saying the rules. The rules was put your shoes on that, the bed. That the not the bed. I done been through. It was no rules. I'm exactly. But you haven't been through clear. That's my problem. You haven't been through clear, not TSA. 
you had been on the other side, so you weren't accustomed. Well, that's the last time you ever took your shoes off, see? I fly yeah, with you, you every time. It's been a minute. Yeah. It's been a minute, so, so it, you that might that, be the rules. You had a spirit that, about that, you. That's, that's 100%. Percent. We've made it to the halfway point. We're out here in McGaysville, Virginia. This is about, i say about 70, 70 plus miles away from where we live. We've been off the highway for a while. Um, however, we just made a few stops in the local area. We came to Sheets to get, get a Love Love a pretzel, but this side is nice and tight. This is nice and tight. And I could, uh, it's not getting any, any tighter on that side. Ain't doing nothing, but. I don't want to suppress the suspension too much, but um, everything is still tight, nice and tight. Um, back, this one could be tightened a little bit more. Let me check the other side. But everything's good though. Um, it, I, the way I tightened it down, I, we ended up having a little bit of a lean, but we were seeing it in the in the rear view mirrors and thought it was a little bit of a problem but everything is good we are about to get back on the road it is uh, now 5 45 and uh we got we still got about what maybe maybe about 45 minutes to an hour left oh yeah nothing now but yeah we're almost there so stay tuned we're about to the, the next challenge, um, now that we see that we can get this far, um, the, the Sonata didn't, um, it didn't, didn't disappoint. We did have a, uh, have a little mishap with the blind spot detection warning. Um, it said that the radar was blocked, so it just turned them off completely. So um, I guess that's, that's fine. Uh, being, people were kind of staying out of our way anyway. I don't necessarily rely on blind spot detection anyway. It's a very bad habit to have as a driver. <clears throat> the engine didn't rev up to 6,000 RPMs like I thought it would, and that was that was a little bit surprising for me. I thought that that it would be double the RPM for for the weight that we're pulling right now. I think it's like 900 something pounds at this point that we're pulling, but everything was smooth. We were able to go up hills just fine. The next challenge will be the mountain that we have to climb to get to where we're going. All right, guys. Despite what goats. Uh, despite, what despite what Alyssa feels about the grade of our mountains, mountains in Virginia, uh, she's from Colorado, by the way. That's why she air quotes mountains every time we say it. But uh, despite how she feels about the, the grade of the incline, um, <laughs> it's still an incline. So we are about to travel into the Shenandoah mountain region and uh, we are testing to see if the car can actually hold its own and if not we have no backup plan so here we go but as you guys can see back there the uh the motorcycle is still standing up still a little sideways but it's all good because the straps are all tight on it um on both sides uh we had one that that un, un that released a little bit but it, it was still good just tighten it back up uh, they actually recommend that you get out and check your straps every 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 so often because with the bumps and everything you could have your straps released but it might actually be a thing with the straps themselves not with the it, it may not even be a thing if you get like bigger straps so that, that's what i'm saying Alyssa's over here feeling pretty chill i believe mm -hmm. second trimester is wonderful <laughs> it's my favorite Opposed to what? Like, it's not chill the any other time. first trimester was awful. Well, not really awful. Just, I was uncomfortable all the time. Yeah. And sleepy, because you were just yeah. sleeping a whole lot. Now I have a little bit of energy and I can be myself. Yeah, true, true. So far, so good, folks. We are, we haven't gotten to the to the uh the steepest part yeah that's actually right here so i'm gonna put the camera up here actually no i'm not oh if homie can do it with the trailer full of pallets exactly we good 
we gonna be up in the RPMs though. I'm gonna try not to red line. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Mountains. If we were in Colorado, we definitely wouldn't be driving up this though. So far, everything feels normal. Yeah. Sun is still good. So a sharp curve right here though. Had to hit on brakes. Can't come swerving out of control out here. Yeah, please don't do that. Where the f did you come from, sir? We have made it into the mountain regions. The car, uh, everything is safe. The only issue is that uh, I don't necessarily know how the parking issue was going to be resolved. Um, we didn't actually get here in time to talk to the people about letting, about check-in. So it's gonna be a little bit of a, a weird situation for the night. I'm gonna leave it attached to the car. But um, other than that, man, everything, everything checked out. Just hoping that uh, hoping that I don't get a ticket or anything for having the motorcycle and the trailer attached like that, uh, taking up more than one parking spot. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that come with uh, with uh, traveling with your with your bike. Actually, show you guys the the digs. We actually coming going back out tonight to go get a pizza. When the missus says she might want barbecue, so we'll see. It was actually pretty funny. So we got here pretty late and the people didn't have the room ready because we were late. We were supposed to check in after four, but the uh, the office that we were supposed to be going to actually closed at, it actually closed at uh, six o'clock and we got here at seven. So we were kind of, kind of SOL for for a short period of time but we re we realized what we were doing wrong and was able to pivot and go get the keys but they couldn't find my last name that was a little bit of a situation but everything's good we're here going to turn in for the night go get us some grub and on some wonderful adventures got the podcast to do in the morning of course uh can't forget about that I'm hoping that my that my equipment does right but i guess we'll see about that honey i'm home oh. <laughs>